So one interesting thing that I did not know until yesterday was that one fourth is in the Cantor set. So one fourth is a number that lives in the Cantor set. Right. And so I'm going to have you go through the exercise of trying to figure out how to write one fourth in binary. And what we expect is we're only going to see zeros and twos. One fourth in base three. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. I misspoke. One fourth okay. in, in base three. So write. How will we write what one fourth is in base three? Um, so basically, we just start with start. We know it's less than one. So we start with zero point, and then we look at the digit places after this. So the one thirds place. One ninth, one twenty seventh, one first, one over two hundred forty three. Look at these, and then we see we start at the beginning and see how many of each we can take out of one fourth without going over. Mm -hmm. um, so for one the one thirds place, it's zero because one third is bigger than fourth. Okay. Um, uh, one ninth is less than a fourth, so we can take out at least one one ninth, and looks like we can take out two because um, that will be two ninths, and one fourth is two eighths, which is bigger. Good, very good. So then we just have to calculate the new amount. So we had one fourth, or um, we could write that. Maybe the common denominator is nine thirty sixth, and then two ninths as eight thirty sixth. So we get one thirty sixth is now left. Right. Um. Okay. So now we move on to one twenty seventh place. That's too big. We can't put any. But um, one over eighty one is smaller, so we can take out at least one. Um, so maybe we can just try taking out one first. So, um, one thirty-sixth minus one eighty-first. Um, to get a com we need to multiply by nine to get a common denominator. So thirty-six times nine. Why don't you factor out a one ninth? So you could take you could call this one ninth times one fourth minus one ninth. That'll, that'll make the calculations a little easier for you. Okay. So then this becomes um, nine thirty sixth minus eight thirty sixth. And so this is now one ninth. Mm -hmm. er, Four thirty six. Four thirty six, yeah. Um, I guess from that we can see that we can also take out another 181st. Yeah. And from there we get uh, the 1 ninth times 1 uh, 36th. Okay. okay. Um, right, so now we have 2 here. And also, actually, what we did here sort of shows that now. This is going to repeat because we, um, before we had, um, we were also left with something times 136. We had actually just 1 times 136. Um, so going to successive places, yeah. we'll get 0, 2, and okay. so on. Right, so there's 1 fourth. Um, <clears throat> From here, can you see what three fourths would be in binary? Um, yes, because multiplying by three in base three shifts everything one place to the right. So you'd be left with zero point two zero two zero two. Does that make sense? Yeah, so because when fourths. you add them, you get zero point two 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 two, okay. which is similar to zero point nine 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 equaling one in base ten. Yeah, and even from this, actually, sort of right away, I mean, n not that anybody would have thought of this right away, but you can actually kind of see right away that one fourth sort of has to be 0.02020202 because 
when you add one fourth to three times itself, you have to get one. Yes. And we'll use that idea in the next video. Yeah, that's a good, good calculation. We did get what we saw. Or we did get, sorry, <laughs> no ones. That's what I heard.